Hello. Today I'm working on another iMac. This is a, I think it's a mid or late 2014, 21.5 inch iMac. It was very, very slow and the customer was having other password issues, but the speed issue uh, is certainly a failing hard drive. I cloned this hard drive using the, the Mac recovery tool, you know, booted up, connected SSD, and then restored the existing hard drive onto the new SSD. So I've got that here with their operating system and all their files on it. So all I need to do is cut this display open and swap the drives and then put the new adhesive kit in and put the thing back together. So I've, I've set the camera up in a different position to try to see more of what I'm actually doing because with just the overhead cam, it's hard to, because this is so large, it's hard to see really what's going on. So. I'm going to start by wedging some, I don't have a, the official foam wedge that the iFixit team use, but I have a, a bunch of bubble wrap wrapped in some anti-static foam that does nicely. So I'll shove this back here. The purpose of this foam or this wedge is to keep the iMac from tipping forward because once I cut the adhesive off of the glass the last thing I want is for gravity to pull the LCD panel away so as long as it's standing up having a wedge in there will help to protect me from that happening so the scary part is cutting that adhesive there's there's a layer of adhesive that runs around the edge of the screen that literally holds the screen on to the Mac. Just trying to guide this down as straight as possible without going in too deep. So as I approach the webcam, I'm gonna pull it out a little bit, mostly almost all the way out actually. Then we'll go a little deeper again. I have a fairly soft, very thin pry tool here. It's not so much a pry tool as a kind of a probe, something I can get in between this glass panel and the frame. So I found a little opening there. Just gonna feed this along. That was a bit unsettling how much this glass flexes when you do that. So there you can see inside. And obviously I need to undo these two cables. So the first thing I'm gonna undo, I'm gonna take them both off of the system board. The lower one has a little tab that you can pull to release this lever. And then the cable just comes out. The other one is just a plastic clip it has ears on both sides. It's very hard to see. Might zoom in. That actually came out quite easily. So now the only thing holding the LCD panel is the adhesive that goes along the bottom. And actually, in this case, there was none. I've never seen that before. There's foam where the adhesive should be, but it wasn't sticky at all. There was no adhesion. So thankfully, I didn't need to cut that. So I'm just going to set this aside. Now, maybe I'll turn this so that 
gives a good view of how I work on it. These are T5 torques. That was quite easy. So this one does not have a separate wire for the thermal sensor. Mac hard drives have thermal sensors in them. And so when you replace a Mac hard drive with a non-Mac hard drive, sometimes you'll have to install fan control software to ensure that the, the fan doesn't spin at full speed constantly. So this goes in that way. These sides are adhesive, the rubber sides here. While I have this open, I'm going to take this into the back room and blow it out. So I'll be back. Okay, everything blown out. It looks great, very clean. There we go. Now I'm going to use some plastic tools to scrape the adhesive off of the edge of the frame so that when the new adhesive comes, all I will need to do is reapply it and go. The adhesive kit still hasn't arrived. It's it's only lunchtime. Um, it will arrive today, I'm sure. But to keep everything safe, I'm going to set the LCD panel back into the frame and then put a suction cup clamp, which is actually designed to, to open iPhones, but it, it works to hold these together temporarily. My adhesive kit has arrived. So let's finish the job. I'm going to stick the tool through the hole and then hold that while I take the backing off. One part of the backing. And then I can get it lined up on the Mac with the hole. And once that's lined up, then I'll press that section in place. So now I've got part of it stuck onto the Mac, and it's much easier to handle the rest. So now I'll stick it through the other end. 
and take the backing off the rest of it and then I'll aim for that hole it's actually a little bit long I'm going to be careful so I do have a bit of a crease in here but part of that is just the backing tape so I'm just going to push it flat down so that it contacts the, the Mac in the right place and then when I take this backing off I'm not going to take the backing off just yet because what I'd like to do is get all of the tape onto the frame, stand it up and put the LCD on, connect it, test it, and once I'm sure that everything's working properly and I can seal it up, then I'll open the, the lid and peel the rest of the back off of the tape. On well, the bottom corners, there's some overlap. This piece here is going to come off the side a bit. And so I need to peel back this backing when I put that on. Let's make sure I've got this. Okay. So I'll peel the blue back. And then try to get this into the corner as best I can. Perfectly lined up with the bottom and the edge. Might move this a little closer to the middle of the camera. All right, we have adhesive strips all the way around, so I think we're ready. So I'm going to remove the backing from the bottom strip. And this is where I need to make sure that these corners line up correctly, because you really only get one chance at this. Feels right. Okay, now I need to reconnect the cables. Difficult to get in there. Okay. Everything feels lined up nicely. So now I'm going to put my clamp back on the top since we have no adhesion across the top. I'm just going to make sure that that's clamped. So it looks good to me. Mac OS started. I can see the display is working properly. I can log in as the customer. So now I'm going to just remove the rest of the adhesive. Yeah, I feel pretty confident that that's not going to fall out. So I can take my pad out of the back. And that's it. Job done. Thanks very much for watching.